you know, there's no such thing as death. Whenever we go to sleep, we travel. We all travel. But some of y'all think you're just getting sleep or you're just dreaming. But it's deeper than that, if you really look at it. You exchange energy, you, you leave your, your physical body, you disconnect from the bones. You disconnect from many other things, but certain things inside your, your home, your physical body, because your house, that's not your home. And I said this already, there's no such thing as home or a perfect place. On this physical world, you're visiting certain things, you're digging deep inside of your soul. And you take on many things. In certain worlds, You're catching up with your memories because memories, you can't get rid of memories. You can't get rid of thoughts. Open up. Oh, but I'm hearing things. I keep hearing strange things. Whenever your soul disconnect from the physical home, your body, your physical body. What if you so-called died in your sleep? How would you know? But that but there's no such thing as death. Some fear it. But you gotta ask yourself. Where are you actually really traveling? You're always going to travel through the unsolved mysteries and many other things. See, on this physical realm, we exchange energies, but you're living in another individual, individual's so-called creation dreams your physical is connected to that you're connecting with ghost inside of your plane and many other things in your astral plane you're connecting with, how, how do you know if you're not the so-called ghost? How do you know if you're not already gone? What if your energy, your hologram, what if it's a certain hologram you picked up on? What if you was already, what if you already got destroyed on another timeline, but you, your energy still goes on, but you actually see Holograms that looks looks familiar. I'm out of here. Shit. Come on. Oh. That's the reason why I said there's no su such thing as death. Because what if you're actually still connected to certain holograms that, that carries a certain type of energy and you, you can only recognize certain things by the physical body, but you can't feel or see 
something totally different. Whenever you see something else besides the physical body, then you reach that level. See, I see certain things more than a physical body. I see certain things that probably would scare some of y'all. But what if you're still connected to different holograms? Whenever you go shift your energy into the astral plane or the dream plane, whatever I want to call it, whenever you shift your energy, you see other individuals' holograms. Especially certain individuals that disconnected from their physical home. Their, their physical body. You still see their holograms. And in certain worlds, you can see certain holograms, certain individuals still got that disturbed energy latched onto them. You can still see that. You can see many things when you reach certain levels. There are so many things that travels fast, like coming like at your soul. Like many things that y'all can't see and understand. Whenever some of y'all get your soul pleasure, see certain programs and certain agents, shadows, trained y'all. Or in the physical world, taught you this training and raised you and lies and stuff. See, you was taught like you haven't wet dreams, and you're supposed to you're supposed to roll with that. You're not having wet dreams. Your soul is getting pleasure. Yes, you can feel certain things. You can feel certain things. You can feel the side effects in other worlds. But certain individuals come from another portal and take your DNA and create other worlds. Take your energy. Some force certain things out of your soul and there are certain parts of you can feel yourself connected to another being whenever you're connecting on many levels and you can feel it inside your physical Sometimes it can feel like sex. That's the reason why I say you don't have to touch an individual. You can have sex on many levels. You can feel the side effects whenever you reach certain levels. How come you think they show little clues and certain things inside of the black mirrors, like the invisible so-called man or visible woman. Because you can't see certain things, not unless you're on a high frequency. You can see certain energies and certain colors. But y'all won't understand that. Whenever some of y'all play with energy, see, they, they teach you how to confuse certain energy on the physical world. Because y'all, the way y'all do sex, it's rituals. It's how they taught y'all how to do it. The shadows taught y'all how to have sex and do the rituals. It's deeper than that. It's nothing but energy whenever it comes to sex. But y'all create certain things 
you, you basically create other homes into the land of confusion. You create other homes. And I'm not talking about the illusion skulls like the buildings and the courthouse and the churches and homes and mansions and cars. And although they carry energies, they, they carry lost souls. They carry lost souls. And like I said, certain souls, whenever certain souls rise or basically at war with certain parts of your soul, things get destroyed. You can't explain it. You can't explain the car wrecks and set up street lights and signals. You, you can't explain certain things because you're in a land of confusion. Do y'all feel my signals? But whenever you all do the sex rituals, you play with the energy and stuff like that. Certain things that you can't see, but you can feel invade your home. You steal energy from you, steal energy from the womb and open up new wombs and create more land of confusions. And some of y'all, you don't see that because you're still caught up. Y'all hanging out with the ghosts and disturbed souls and different entities. The names and titles, they're already dead. So if you connect to that, you're disconnected and you're with the dead names and titles shape-shifting numbers that shape-shifting numbers that needs basically need your energy to transform and project certain things out there you know there's many levels to this it's like um Like I said, you can feel certain things. Certain things take something from your home and then you're connected to the parallel universe. So whenever you feel pleasure with your soul, some of y'all say sex, they call it wet dreams or whatever. You can feel the side effects. And some of y'all, whenever you play with the energy, and some of y'all carry babies and then have a miscarriage. That could be something that's connected to another world destroying it. And the reason why I say, I say that, because that energy could have already been here. So it doesn't want to come back to the land of confusion. Some of y'all be hurt and upset, but you really can't get hurt and upset because you probably connected with another bloodline or a certain individual with disturbed energy. And that energy didn't want to latch on, so it destroyed their self inside of your water, inside your home. And I know that's going to go over some heads. Certain energies, <clears throat> whenever y'all create certain homes, physical homes, certain energy don't want to connect with some of y'all. So, like I said, they destroy their self inside of your womb. Yeah, 
don't want to connect with your bloodline or that other individual. Because both of them disturb. Certain individuals don't want to come back into the recycling program. So, whenever it comes to certain things, see certain groups put certain things, but they do it in riddles, subliminals. How come you keep building illusion skulls and, like I said, the courthouse, the homes and houses, and so you can put your energy inside of it? Then you do certain rituals to the other creations. Whenever you come out the womb, you basically already so-called baptized. When you come out that water. Like some of y'all do the rituals. You got different bloodlines and other things that y'all can't see. That y'all doing certain things. Y'all destroying each other's homes. And other worlds. And you carry it to other worlds. Whenever you disconnect from your home. You carry that program. You carry that disturbed energy. There's a lot of things y'all don't know. That I'm showing y'all. So y'all can see certain things and experience certain things and figure out certain things on your own. So you can unlock things from the astral plane. Unlock your souls.